Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Super. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Santee BZ400 heated undersuit. So this is a dry suit undersuit designed for very cold waters, but it also has heating coils running throughout it so you can plug it into an external battery and it actually warms itself up. Uh, very clever. So if you're cold water diving or extended diving, you're diving for long periods, this is definitely a dry suit undersuit worth considering. Let's take a closer look. Cool. Uh, so this is how it arrives uh, in a big plastic bag, unfortunately. Um, nothing too interesting on the outside of the plastic bag. Uh, on the inside, you uh, you get the dry suit itself and uh, a, a bag to keep it in. Um, big Santee logo on the outside, heating system. Um, it's it's a, just a satchel style bag um looks pretty hard wearing um so yeah something to keep your dry suit undersuit contained and organized uh yeah that's quite nice okay onto the uh, the undersuit itself uh, so we've got two little tags one with a, a serial number on it and the size and another that just sort of breaks down uh, sort of how to care for it and the uh, the um, uh, the technology that goes inside of it and uh yeah just in some information about the uh, 3m uh, thinsulate insulation um nice and warm relatively low bulk as well so even without the actual heating system it's still a, a fantastic dry suit undersuit to keep you warm in very cold temperatures just the undersuit itself without that heating coil is rated down to i think it's below seven degrees celsius so cold water diving or long diving as well uh, very very efficient uh, yeah let's take a closer look at each of its features Right, so starting up around the neck, so we have a soft fleecy uh, sort of neck that, that just sort of goes around your uh, your neck and nothing nothing scratchy, it's this kind of rolled fleece which is very, very soft and comfortable. Uh, moving down from that front zipper, straight down the front, there's actually a double zipper, I'll show you that in a second, um, so that you can zip it up from the bottom as well. Underneath that, you've got this big sort of flush guard, I'd call it on a, uh, on a wetsuit, but it's basically the a section of material underneath the zipper so that cold air can't rush straight through it, it slows it down. You've got a bit of Velcro as well that sort of holds it uh, in place, but underneath that, yeah, that's what's uh, sort of slowing that, uh, that gas from just sort of flushing around inside of your, uh, your undersuit. Underneath your arms, you can see you have this section which actually allows for greater flexibility. So for shutdown drills, you uh, you don't get restricted underneath the armpit, but it's much thinner material as well. So it's not bulky uh, sort of underneath your arm. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get plenty of flexibility, reduced insulation right there, but really it is not that much of an issue. Up around the uh, your sort of shoulders, you get these two little eyelet grommets. So this is just allowing for greater airflow around your dump valve. Little Santee patch, which is kind of cool. And then on the inside of the armpits, um, or sorry, on the inside of your elbow, a little bit thinner. So when you're bending your arms, it's not bulking up in there. Um, and then down around the cuff, you get this uh, sort of mesh-like material. So if you dive with a cuff dump, again, it's allowing for greater airflow around that valve so it doesn't get trapped anywhere. The actual cuff itself is elasticated just to hold it in position and you get an elastic thumb loop just to uh, sort of help keep it in position so it doesn't ride up your, your sleeve when you're getting into your dry suit. Much the same on the right hand side, only you don't have that uh, those two eyelet grommets, um, but you still get that uh, sort of flexibility so you can still reach. Reflective piping uh, around the suit, which is kind of cool. And, uh, and then you'll see the main material is all uh, quilted. So that means that the, uh, the insulation over time isn't gonna start to migrate around. It's gonna stay exactly where, where it should be. Um, on the inside, you might be able to see if I uh, unzip it. 
On the inside, on the chest, on the back, you have these kind of wires. Uh, so these are flexible. Uh, you don't really notice them, but these are what warms up when you plug it into um, to the powered section. And yeah, sort of, it just allows that external heat just to radiate and, uh, and warm you up. There's a, an entire manual sort of all about it. It's always worth with these uh, sort of external heated suits to just double check that you're aware of the, uh, the decompression um, sort of issues that could be caused by it. Uh, as long as you're aware of that, then you can use it pretty safely. Uh, but on the inside of the suit, yeah, just soft fleece lining. Um, I'd still wear a base layer underneath just because I always tend to, but I'd be very comfortable wearing this uh, just against your bare skin. Very effective at wicking moisture away from you so you stay nice and dry and, uh, and in turn you stay nice and warm. Moving down the suit, so this as the, uh, the little sign uh, indicates is where your heating plug is located. So you have this cable uh, which is braided and then this is what leads to the inside of your inflation valve and that will connect whether it's a thermo valve or just the uh, the Santi connector that's how the power gets into the actual suit and then through the valve to an external battery and there's a little pouch for that if you're not diving with the um, with the powered section you can just tuck it away nice and neatly um, so it doesn't get damaged and it stays nice and secure <clears throat> Down around your waist, um, two little uh, sort of cut throughs for a P-valve, they're both located. Um, and yeah, there's just a little cut through that comes through to the inside of the suit. Double pockets, decent sized pockets on this and they're fleece lined on the outside. So you can put your hands in there, keep them nice and warm in between dives. This is the, um, the double zipper, so you can zip it up from the bottom if you need to relieve yourself between dives. Moving down to the knees, so you can see the knees are slightly ergonomic, so they're pre-bent um, just to allow for natural movement. And again, much like with your elbows, it's actually a little bit thinner just on the back side, just so it doesn't uh, start to bulk up. And around your ankles, much thinner as well, no insulation there so that your socks can overlap. But again, it doesn't get bulky and you have that uh, sort of very wide elasticated stirrup just to uh, hold the bottom of the leg in position when you're getting into your dry suit. Turning it over, The only things really worth note is uh, down here in the um, sort of the small of your back, you have a, a concertinaed uh, sort of elasticated section. So again, when you're bending over, you need to stretch. Um, you've got that uh, bit of elasticity in the back and you get a, a pocket on your left hand side, again, just to uh, sort of store things in between dives. So that's the Santi BZ400 heated undersuit. Uh, this thing has coils or heating coils all over the chest, the back, uh, down your legs. I think the only bits that aren't done are like the calves, the lower section of your legs, but it's down throughout the arms. In fact, the arms as well that I didn't actually mention is that you have a, a little cable hidden on the inside, uh, just inside there. And that's so you can connect heated gloves as well. So if you're diving with dry gloves, the, uh, the Santi heated two dry gloves, uh, yeah, you can plug those in and they're connected as well. And that will keep your hands warm, but you still have coils running throughout the arm. So your arms are actually getting that warmth benefits and um, yeah if you're not using them then you can just tuck it away and again it protects that uh, that little connector and it's nice and uh, sort of sleek and secluded but even without plugging it into a battery it itself is a very effective dry suit undersuit that's designed to keep you dry and warm for either very cold water or longer dives Fantastic suit, definitely worth checking out. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link to it down in the description so you can check it out and buy it. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.